today, we found the head teacher of Bobali Primary School in Bushenyi, Lilian Aivaziwe, at Chambogo University Police Station, where she was making her statement. She had been brought here on allegations of exam malpractice and issuing false results to primary living examination candidates 2023. Police at uh, Chambogo is holding one with Aivaziwe Lilian of uh, allegations of uh, uh, examination malpractice and forgery. The matter came as the Uganda National Examinations Board Tribunal continues its hearing into schools and candidates whose results were withheld over exam malpractice. One of these schools is Bubali Primary School. At this school, results of 116 candidates were withheld due to suspicions of exam malpractice. Of these, only 16 candidates were cleared without any issues. You would find misplaced answers. The child is getting an answer for a question 14, is putting it in 7, is getting a question, a response for question 13, putting it in 10. So you can see there is some inconsistency that raised suspicion. So on that basis, and it was cutting across majority of them. Or the worst bit is that over 16 candidates had correct responses, but then they are crossing them out and adopting the wrong one, which is cutting across everyone. Despite being aware that your neighbor was concerned about this matter, the head teacher allegedly chose to provide testimonials with fake results to students. It has since emerged that some of these learners have already used these fake results to secure placements in senior one. Of course, the secondary schools do not know that pass slips have been have not been released as yet. And then the other thing is that they don't have information that these school results have been withheld. Mm -hmm. So they admit them on the basis of testimonials. So the head teacher took advantage and decided to give testimonials mm -hmm. with fake results. As investigations into the matter are ongoing, the accused head teacher has denied allegations of faking the results of learners in her school. Now, the head teacher's fate, we cannot discuss it now. She has gone to police, they are going to charge her according to the different offences she has committed. First of all, some of the offences she has committed are contrary to the Penal Code of Uganda. Then us, we have administrative sanctions which will be taken by the committee in accordance with the law. So there are different options, withdrawing the centre number because it's mismanaged. UNEB has urged parents to verify their children's results, especially for affected schools, and is planning to issue a circular on the matter. And then parents will be called upon to bring their results for verification and confirm whether this child's results were released or cancelled. If they were cancelled, the child is taken out of secondary, repeats P7. If they were released, they give them the actual results and withdraw the fake results. Alternatively, parents have been advised to use the 6600 code to verify the results. When you check on 6600 and results are not showing up, two things. Either results are withheld and in most cases after that season of release, it's results being withheld for suspicion of examination malpractice. Or the school has not paid. But that issue of payment is normally resolved in a very short time, within a span of one week. Anything you see after one week of release, just know it's suspicion of malpractice. So Once your neighbor releases the results, schools and parents are given a grace period to verify any mistakes before pass slips are issued, such as date of birth and the correct spelling of names. Nobat Atkunda, in TV News.